Yo, what's going on guys? Okay, and we're back. And today, we are actually back in Car Manufacturer. So, the last video I did was actually the demo version of this game. It is now a couple of days after the game is now released. Well, into early access anyway. So there might still be some issues or, you know, some things like that. But as far as we know, the game is now released and this is the proper game. So, unfortunately the demo was just like a tutorial sort of thing, so none of that save can be transferred over, and we are now on a zone. So, we've got a significant amount of money compared to what we had, and it's now time to, well, do it on a zone. So, we're in the Detroit map just like the one that it was on before if you remember um, and we've got a blueprint it is totally different to what we had before we've started about 20 years back from where we started before so we've just got a random sort of car with a random name given but as you can tell we are now in the full game look at all these that we've got there is so many cars now to discover we can now actually get loans deal with suppliers and things so yeah this is this is better this is what we've been looking for so let's make a start we're gonna start with the building Um. I'm going to start here again, I don't want to do it that big yet, um, let's go with that, we can make it bigger eventually, um, something I did think about is, if they're bringing the parts from there, is it faster to have a door there, yeah maybe. So we're going to go with that, um, gates, um, we're going to be able to put three in, I don't think we're going to be able to afford three ramps but we can try, um, we'll have to see where we are at money wise, but for now we're just going to set two up, if we need a third we can always get a third. So, I'm not going to go too much into detail about this, because I kind of went over it before, we've done all this bit before, I don't want to spend too much time doing this, so I just want to kind of get a few things set up so we can kind of get straight underway. I believe this needs to be... Um, at least I feel like that's too small. I'm sure, that's what it used to be. And this should be able to fit three cars in, and it does. Fantastic! I hope I can just get <laughs> another twelve in there. We'll see. Right, so we've set that up. Um, let's get this going so we can be creating the cars because we always have the issue of we've never got any cars so let's get all this set up yep and let's get some staff so we're going to get really one really good mechanic and two lower end mechanic and then we'll do the same again we're going to get a couple more transport people uh, we'll put this into normal mode just so everything starts to flow and um, while I set everything up they can start getting some storage see the train just arrived so 
that will have all my products on it. So my staff are here now, look. Once my staff get going, they will fill the storage section up with the products. These are my mechanics. They will then start building it. So while they do that, uh, we are going to build a sales play. How does it say how big that is? Right, okay. I don't want to do too big of a building. Um, I think that should be big enough. Uh, we'll put a door on each side. Um, and then we need a zone. We'll get a desk. And a turntable. Yep, that should be everything in there for now, I believe. See, we never had this before. What does the oil tank do? And the fuel tank? I'm not too sure. What are these? Employee zone. Oh, I'm guessing that's to help with the employees. And we've got utility areas. Okay. Let's also build um, a research lab. But we will do a slightly different building just so we know what this building is. Um, So we understand exactly what it is. Right, we are now very low on money. So I think we stopped building at that point. Um, they're working away, trying to do that, building these cars, which is fantastic. We are now going to get, start setting this sort of thing up. So, we need some profit. We need to make money, so we're going to go with that. And, wow, we do have blueprints. So what do we go for? Which one do we do? We've got options. Upgrade to the next tier. I think we should do that. I think we should do that. So we need a salesman. We're only going to get one for now. And we'll get two... Oh, we can only get two researchers. That's it. That's, that's a staff full. Wow, these cars are coming along very nicely. Uh, let's just click that and speed it up a little bit. So we are getting customers in already very interested in the cars. Unfortunately they're not ready. Um, oh, should we get another ramp? I think we should. Because if we don't... I think it's going to be too slow. Right. We'll probably build one of these cars. We probably won't be able to build, like, be able to build another because I think the research and development of a new car will be in. If that's the case, we'll swap that end ramp out and we'll start building the other cars. But for now, we might as well get building this one. This is actually 93% the way complete, which is good, because we are hemorrhaging money here, we're now down to £2,000 left. 
So we desperately need to sell some of these cars just to keep us floating. And that's that look. There's our first two cars all done. And we've already sold one. And we're about to sell the second one. Nope. That was a no no. Hang on a minute, we've got another customer coming. And he sold it. Fantastic. So that keeps us in the green with the money. The money is now up. We're back to £4,000 and we are still working away. Working hard and developing the money. Shall we just check the stock levels? So the, the second row, sorry, the first row is what we've got in stock. The second row is what we've ordered. So we've actually got more in almost everything. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of an employee uh, that uses to transport. And we're going to get another mechanic. This then should help us to speed it up a little bit. I'd like a tier 3 mechanic like that if possible. But maybe a little bit of a cheaper one. Is 20 going to be the cheapest for a tier 3? It looks kind of like that's the case. Yeah. Oh, 17. Yeah, here we'll have him. He looks good. And then what we'll do is... You can assign here, you can assign employees. So we're going to assign an employee to each one of them. So that should mean one employee works on each of the cars at all times. And then the fourth mechanic should just kind of float between. So he should help the other mechanics and just build them. I'm hoping that might be a faster way of doing it. All I will say is they all look like they are quite far on. So I don't I don't think these cars are going to be far off, which is good. As one of the car profits that we've made we've already spent in costs. So I really need them to get these cars made so we can sell them. The popularity is flying up, if you look. We're already now at 41 popularity, which is really good. Um, can we do any... We can do a little bit of advertising. It will cost five, but you know, it, it, if it's gonna increase popularity by five percent, um, I'm gonna up the price of the car very, very slightly. <laughs> and just like that, all three cars are built. But the question is, are we going to sell all three? We've just sold two of them. But can we sell that third one? Also. We've just. We've just researched and developed our new car. So that means now. We've got a new car we can put on the market. We kind of don't have the money to do it yet though. How much does it cost? Really we need to extend the building. Which won't cost too much. 
Right, so we need a we need the price for assembly line, which is two hundred, a gate, which is three. To be fair, we might be able to afford it. That will just give us the ability to get another car. Should we do it? It doesn't cost too much, I guess. We will assign that final mechanic to work on that. We've now got one mechanic on each of the ramps. He can't do anything yet because nobody's dropped the parts off, but once they do, I think we should move this. I think we should put it there. I feel like it's kind of in the middle now. Whereas before it was too far away. Oh, we've got another car. And obviously we are now making the new model. Um, where was that? Uh, research. So that's now the next one. Could we get these researching another vehicle wow look at that okay let's do this unknown one first oh wow look at that yeah let's get a new worker oh this is exactly what i was looking for look at this yes this is this is this is what i'm looking for Reduce any car in total. Max stations in. Okay, yes, we're going with that. Definitely. Produce any cars in total. Okay. Unlock storage shelves allow more storage parts in smaller areas. Unlock basic objects. Upgrades a toolbox. Lock a higher limit for energy supplies for current network. Okay. Unlock car dismantling workshop. What what do we what do we want to do that for? Sales. Okay, let's do that as well. Unlock a sales zone which allows customers to wait for their turn that's probably good increase the popularity rate that's good looks advertising useful for increasing cars demand and factory population also very useful increase the percent of money regain when scrapping parts quick sell refund 10 percent so i'm guessing all the cars that we make are not always going to be popular I'm guessing allows you to build more research station okay I'm not too bothered about that at the minute we've unlocked another blueprint check that out fantastic um, what's the economy looking like So profits the black line. In comes the green line. Okay. It's a little bit all over the place at the minute. We could do to sturdy it a little bit. Ah, this is that look. So, because I'm guessing as the demand grows, we can do that. We've also got that which we need to upsell, definitely. 
Uh, we'll upsell this, but we're not actually building this car yet. Right. Ooh, 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 look. That's our first one that we have just sold. Let's change that. Oh, actually, let's wait. See if anybody buys it. No, I've got a feeling. So can we build maximum number of one? No. Okay, so let's let's change that to that um, and release it because we've got a car here. I'm hoping one of them two wants that car. And it's sold just like that. Right, back to the other one. Because I've now got three of them. Right. I think we might be now at a point where we might start to make a little bit of money. Because one of them is sold. definitely think we need to get that couch what is that yeah I definitely think we need the couch because the couch will it will help us to have customers waiting a little bit longer because we can't manufacture the cars fast enough at the minute it will help the situation a little bit so, where do we get ouch? Where's the couch? Oh, it's there. Oh, have we got to unlock it? Which one was the sales one? This one, wasn't it? Is that the sales one? No, assembly line. Sales. Oh, the waiting room there. Couch. Right. Well, let's put a couch in. I'm hoping that now will slightly improve the waiting time for customers. So we might have enough time to build cars. Because we do get a massive kind of up stock of the cars, but we can't get rid of them quick enough. Somebody best use that chair now, I've paid for it. Fantastic, he's sitting and waiting. But the question is, how long will he wait for? Let's offer him a drink. Will he wait any longer? No. Okay, so we need to... We need to scale this up, so... Let's get... Three more mechanics. No, let's get... Four more mechanics. And we're going to assign them to ramps yeah just like that and that should now increase the speed on how quick we're building cars but we are going to have to make the parking lot bigger oh, I can't make it big enough to put three spaces in Damn. Okay, well we'll just put in We'll just put two in. Unless I can Oh move this. Do we need two or three? I can't I can't remember.
Is that enough room to put another one in? No, I'm guessing we need to go one one more that way. I'm guessing. Have a look. Fantastic. Right, that just that just helps a little bit, just to give us that bit more space. Um, swap it to that car because we've got one. See, we're getting a lot of customers in. But, and it's sold, but I'm really, really struggling to, to keep the demand of the cars up. We, we, we can't build them quick enough. These look like they're nearly done. 98, 66, 100. Okay, so we've got two out of the door. And that one's nearly done. Okay. Oh, we need to swap the cars. Quick, quick, quick. There we go. Oh, he's just walked away. Damn. Okay, we've got another customer coming in. And he's wanting one of them. Fantastic. Sold. Have it. Take it. Fantastic. Gone. Come on. Let's get building the next ones. Don't stop. Keep going, boys. What are we like for stock? Are we struggling to keep up now or are we doing okay? Um, majority of the parts were actually... overstocked so yeah we're in a good place yeah we should definitely have we should definitely think about moving the storage sheds. I'm just watching them. The mechanics are running to the storage shed to get the parts, come back to the car. So what if we could take the storage compartments right up? What if we could put them next to ramps? We don't have to go as far to build the cars. It's just there. That could work, you know. We'll leave it for now because I don't. We we'll probably have to demolish that and rebuild it. So we'll leave it for now. But for now, it works, doesn't it? You know, we could be faster, but yeah, we're doing good. Let's see if we can sell the. Car Supra, which is the red one, or pink, whatever you want to call it. See if we can sell this, which... No, we haven't. Yeah, let's see if we can sell that. If we do, we'll swap it over to the other car. Is it Le Mans, that one's called? And we'll get that one sold. I can't click him in time. Now what car does he want? I can't, cl I can't click him in time. He wants one of them. And we've sold it. Fantastic. Right. Now we've got two of these. Let's try and get rid of them. We've got two guys walking in. Can we make it happen? Nope. No. Okay. Is he going to sit down and buy one though? That's the question. No, he's not.
Fantastic. One's gone. That is one more car gone. Fantastic. Right, guys. I think we're going to leave this one here. Pause that. I want to say thank you all for watching. And thank you to everybody who watched the last video. I know it was just a demo, but it was good to see what the game was all about. This is where we're at at the moment. I think we're in a good position. But for now, we're going to leave it here. We've actually made profit. If you look at the bottom corner. We've now got more money than when we originally started at the beginning of this episode. So we've managed to build a business. We've managed to manufacture cars from stand like from nothing. And we've managed to make more money than when we started. So to do that in one episode, I think that's really good. So I really hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe. And leave a comment down below. Because it massively helps me out. And it shows that you guys like this. So then I can carry on making this content. So once again, thank you for watching. And I will see you next episode.